Yes, good evening, good evening. I'd like to say that I live in Blind Fairfax, which is a lovely village in the valleys. If you don't know where that is, don't worry. Neither do I. <laughs> uh, I've lived there for five years now, and I've mastered the pronunciation, but I don't know how to spell it, which makes it awkward when I'm in the doctors and they say, oh, why do you, why do you have to spell it? I say, oh, I never. And they look at me with a look of absolute dread, and they say, can you spell that soon? And I say, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can know when it's a farm <laughs> Every single time. Um, the other thing that I hate about Blank Fairfax is that uh, I was told they all own yachts. <laughs> Which is a lie, because I don't own a yacht. <laughs> I've worked in retail for 10 years and uh, there's a one saying that I absolutely despise. The customer is always right. They're not. <laughs> in fact, if you ask me, I think most of them come here to school. A bunch of bricks. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when they ask me for something, say, so you know, chocolate buttons. And I said, oh, yes, should be. I'll, I'll show you through that. And they say, oh, is that it then? <laughs> now, same rational mind would tell you, yes, that's, that's it, yes. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm not a same rational mind. <laughs> so I say, no, nah. I've turned you all the way to the other side of the store because I love spending time with you. <laughs> <laughs> My job makes me a very angry person, but there, is, there are things that I do that make me calm and relax. For instance, I like to eat tea. And I play Dungeons and Dragons. Now, I don't have a good amount of tea, I like candy cake, cherry baked quail, and in the ink, and in the stir, I like a bit of hot cross honey. I'm not talking about a cake that I eat with my tea. I'm actually talking about the tea. Uh, I, do, I do have carrot cake for the tea. It's amazing. It's very expensive as well. So, thankfully, I won't have a drug problem because I've got tea problems. <laughs> it's about £8.50. <laughs> when it comes to Dungeon Dragons, so that I, I am the, the Dungeon Master. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It's not as sexy as it sounds. <laughs> I don't have chains, or gags, and uh, suits. In fact, if anything, I have grown-up children, a load of dice, and me asking them, are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hair pulling sometimes. It's like herding cats. Sometimes you plan something, and then it goes the exact opposite way. And you're like, but um, I will leave you with one more thing before I go, and that is that life is much like making a cup of tea. If you make it poorly, I will judge you harshly. <laughs> if you make it well, I will still judge you harshly. <laughs> and much like people who like pineapple on a pizza, Anyone I will ask you to stay well away from me if you're quite enough in first. Thanks everyone, I'll welcome back to the studio.